Good morning. We're so glad you're here. We daily vlog. So if you enjoyed today's video, make sure you come back every day. This is the kind of morning that's happening, but because of work is work, I have my cup, cup of joe, and I need like a serotonin boost of these kids yeah. laughing and the Adventures by Disney Resort, <laughs> Resort channel. So save me. I am at our nap stroll. Teddy just snoozed right before we left. Um, he's in good spirits. He's just looking around in the carrier, being cute. I walked a totally different area today to run some errands, get something for Eve, pop into Walgreens. Um, I'm gonna see if there's anything Christmassy in there for our Christmas of the day fun. So let's take, let's see what, if. I don't even know if there's anything out yet, but if there's not, then I'll find something. Okay, so Peter just told me that he had a last minute meeting and he won't be able to help me right now. So I am going to do a little taste test while I wait of this Coca-Cola Dream World. I couldn't find any sort of cranberry drink. Um, but I did find this. We're kind of in a dream world thinking it's <laughs> time to celebrate Christmas. I mean, we always celebrate Christmas. Um, but I've seen this on TikTok and I figured, you know, I'm a pop connoisseur. Let's try it out here. Teddy is snoozing now. If you know me, I typically don't like pop in a plastic bottle, but Coke sometimes is crisp enough where I do enjoy it. Funny enough, this tastes like cranberry. I was actually on the phone with Megan Petrus at Walgreens and she said that she heard that it had cranberry, drop the cap, cranberry flavor to it. Um, this kind of tastes like Christmas. It was really good. It doesn't taste like a brown pop, if that makes sense. Like it tastes tastes more like a Sprite. I don't know. Maybe it's just the fruitiness. There's a lot of sugar in this. Also, does Jojo Siwa have anything to do with that? I don't know if I'm just getting my information from TikTok. I don't know why I think that. Well, only like the second time the nap transfer hasn't worked. And we've pinpointed it's when I'm outside for too long or like he's in the stroller for too long because he's like in whatever the cycle is during his sleep. Like it's better to, to bring him in like 15, 20 minutes after he's fallen asleep because then he's in that like deep sleep. Who's going bye-bye? Oh, you were saying bye-bye because Belle was saying bye-bye. We're watching Beauty and the Beast, just chilling. Um, but we were at least outside. He was asleep for over an hour. It just wasn't as long as typical. Um, but I'd like to say, like, the stroller nap situation has been working out fabulously. Um, I also think he's, like, getting conditioned to be sleepy at that time, which will help when we start to transition him to not have to fall asleep in the stroller, especially as it starts to get cool. Um, today... He's nervous about Maurice and the forest. Um, they say it might be our last 80 degree day of the year, but that doesn't mean the stroller naps have to end. Like we'll be good through fall, but it's just like snow and such. Um, yeah, it's been working out great for us. And I think it's awesome that it's only the second time that he he's woken up during the transfer. So I won't be able to get as much as I needed to get done during nap time done, but I think I'm just gonna just like let him rest and like we'll just watch this movie together I'm not even gonna scroll on my phone just all rest together and Teddy too I just made the yummiest 
vegan treat. Want all of them. What? Want all of them. I can make more. <laughs> Evers. 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 Pita cracker. Vegan cream cheese and cucumber. James is Beauty and the Beast's new biggest fan. He can't take his eyes off of it. I just had to make more. They were so oh, good. James even likes it. We're scared of the wolves. Work is over. That means we're more than halfway down with the week. You see the geese? Bye-bye. I got James Z on me for my eight mile run today. Overslept, I meant to get it done before work, but that just means James is coming with. It wouldn't be the worst thing in the world if we fall asleep a little bit um, on this run, because we had a shorter nap today. But if he just wants to enjoy the sights and sounds of this beautiful Chicago day, possibly the last day over 80 degrees for the year, we'll see. Might be a little presumptuous, but it really, really potentially could be. So, here we are. Woo. It's a sweaty one. Maybe I didn't realize how humid it was or how hot it was. Maybe because the stroll, this is also, it's really cool. The longest run I've taken James the on with me, eight miles. Um, I would say it'd be going a little bit more smoothly if he fell asleep. About four miles in, which is definitely the longest he's been awake. And I can tell he's getting kind of restless in the stroller but he is liking some of the sights and sounds we're going past. We're really close up to the lake right now. Um, about to turn around, and he likes seeing the cars and people playing on the beach and the dogs and the bike riders. So that's fun. Seven miles in, James is still rocking. Tried giving him the binky that I found as a little cheat, but he's just turning that into a game. I think he's getting a little stir crazy. But I'd say overall he gets an A++++. For joining and supporting dad on his run, right? Okay. Going. Okay, I'm just gonna record this really quick. Hold on. I'm getting my water. I'm gonna do the Peloton. I'm like, this is quite the angle. Quite the angle. I need water while I do the Peloton. The reason I'm going so fast is because Teddy, oh gosh, um, Teddy finally fell asleep. I got the vlog up. Peter is on his run with James. Um, and I'm gonna squeeze in a Peloton ride. I didn't think it was gonna happen. Um, and then I knew that Peter was going to be back and I'd have to be with James while he like showered because, you know, after you run eight miles, it's, it's kind of necessary that you shower. <laughs> Teddy is sleeping. Teddy is sleeping. I'm not going anywhere. I'm just putting Peloton shoes on. By the grace of God, I just ate some M&Ms before my Peloton ride. By the grace of God, Teddy did not wake up. She's freaking out. I don't know if she thought like me putting on my shoes I was leaving or if she was like asleep and thought, I don't know. I don't know what she thought. But anywho, I'm going to squeeze this Peloton ride in that I did not think was going to happen until late. So it's great news. Um, I don't know what ride I'm going to do, but here we go. Look who is cheering me on. The second part of my ride. It's just eating nectarines. I don't know why it's not Clementine. Oh. I don't know why I have such a... It's not a Clementine. It's a nectarine. Clementine is like uh, orange. A baby orange. <laughs> <laughs> no, um, is it just staying in our pajamas all day for the kids? Well, I was going to change them after we got back, but I want to shower first because I stink. Yeah. This is Teddy's first appearance in the vlog. Dicky, 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 dicky. He'll be four months old tomorrow, so he's officially the same age that James he was when we moved here. Just crazy. I keep on finding old pictures and like remaking them with Teddy just to compare the two. <sighs> wild. It's just so wild. You're still in your jammies too. All right, I'm super excited for dinner tonight. Um, half plant-based, half not. We are in the process of getting rid of whatever is in our fridge that is 
an animal product. Um, and I forgot that we have these pierogies in the freezer and we have some butter left. And the only way I know how to eat these is in a ton of butter. So, um, with onions going to start with this, got the butter heating up half an onion, Julian, is that the right word? Strips of onions to go with these puppies and then i'm going to make some chickpea like barbecue chickpeas um so kind of like barbecue like pulled barbecue pork sandwich but with chickpeas i'm gonna use the other half of the onion to cook up with the chickpeas maybe even a green pepper mash it up have that on sandwiches um then maybe some applesauce and some cucumbers okay we got both we got both half cooking this one's diced Oi. Salt, pepper, garlic, and olive oil. These are going salt, pepper, garlic, butter, until translucent. Emptying the dishwasher while the onions cook. I also added in the green peppers to the diced onions pot and a little bit of veggie broth because it's just looking a little dry. Um, like I said, that's gonna be the base for our sandwiches. I'm going to, um, drain and rinse the chickpeas next. It's my favorite appliance. In go with the chickpeas. I only did half a green pepper. I didn't want it to be too peppery. And then once they are tender, just mash it up until it's like a chicken consistency, pork consistency. Then I'm going to pour in the barbecue sauce add whatever kind you like. I'm going to use this Carolina Gold from Trader Joe's. So I just flipped the pierogies. They're looking nice and almost done. Um, I did just move some out of the way to toast our, like to get butter on our buns and then I just put them in the oven to toast for a little bit. I'm so excited for this meal. Here is the wondrous meal Sarah cooked up for us. We forgot we had the produce extra, so those are not plant-based, but we're gonna use them anyway because it's delicious. We're using the rest of what we got. Yeah, but the rest of this looks delicious. Oh, it looks delicious. It smells so good. I can't wait to eat it all. I'm gonna be sad it's over. I haven't even started yet. We got Christmas. Frank Sinatra going for our background music. The sandwiches have pickle on them. That coleslaw yesterday would have been good on there. Um, what do you put on your pulled pork sandwiches? Big bite, do the probie dance. Mm -hmm. oh, oh. Fast forward a few hours. Dinner was so good, if I do say so myself. One of my favorite, um, one of my favorite like kinds of food. So yummy. I always say in any culture, whatever comes in dumpling form, ravioli, pot sticker, pierogi, that's what I want. So loved, loved dinner. Um, Teddy had his first bath in the big bath. Um, so I'll put in a little clip here. Do you love it? It's a big boy. It's a big boy. Kick, 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 kick. Ah. He loved it. It was so fun and cute. Um, of him just like getting the hang of it. He's sleeping. Um, Jamesy is struggling a little to go to bed. Um, Again, he's just like kind of been like not tired. Like he's like ready to go still. So I think we just need to be more adamant about like him having physical exertion during the day. Um, so yeah, I think we, he just needs to like burn off that energy a little bit better. But hopefully this is not the last clip and that Peter and I are able to um, hang out at the end of the night tonight. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine, but you just can't get into it because they would never understand. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions. <laughs>